All right, Zach and Michael Aaron at the State House. Appreciate that report, Zach. All right, Governor Corzine stressed what he calls a need for delaying those municipal pension contributions at an economic policy forum today. Corzine pushed the bill as economists and corporate CEOs weighed in on the severity of the recession. Adrian Sapino has the story. Governor Corzine says it's unpleasant, but it must be done. He says the state should allow municipalities a pass on pension contributions to cope with the faltering economy. If we don't do something in non cash transactions uh, with our localities, we're going to end up putting enormous pressure on both our school districts and our, our um, municipalities as we go forward. Not an attractive long-term fiscal discipline step, absolutely necessary unless you want taxes raised in the midst of a recession. The comments came at a policy forum where Rutgers University economists assessed the corporate mood. They surveyed more than 100 New Jersey corporate executives three times over the last year as the financial markets have deteriorated. Although they continue to rate New Jersey as an attractive place to do business in terms of its workforce, the quality of its workforce, its location, its access to markets, uh, their indication of whether they would expand in the next several years is significantly down, both whether they're going to expand in New Jersey or in the nation in general. So that's a, that's a good indicator that forward-looking decisions have been affected by the sharp decline in the economy. In this depressing economic environment, New Jersey corporate CEOs tell us there will be less investment and little expansion. There are some projects that we have to scale back. If, if, if we can't get access to the capital markets, there'll be projects that we have to scale back on. But th at the end of the day, we're going to make sure we keep the lights on. Corzon claims his administration is doing all it can to stimulate the economy on the state level, from expediting infrastructure projects to job creation incentives and a plan to ease corporate business taxes. In truth, it's really difficult to be critical because we're in uncharted territory. Nobody really knows what's going to work, which is the frightening part. Apart. Um, things are falling apart in a very different way. It's unprecedented. We don't have any experience in this area. Um, I'm pretty confident that, especially in New Jersey, we should be able to come out stronger just because of the brain power in this state. You know, um, we're not uh, a single um, industry state. We don't only just make cars. We don't only just make pharmaceuticals. We're pretty well diversified. And when you have the kind of intellectual power you have in a state like this, I can't help but think it positions us to come out stronger than most. Adrian Sapino, NJN News, Plainsboro.